Hello, this is Adam Wang from Me to Talk English Cafe. Welcome to a new episode. Today, I'm going to introduce English poetry. Some of you learners out there might wonder why poetry above all English poetry. I can hardly speak normal sentences without making a mistake. Why read poetry? Isn't that a bit too hard for us? Some of you might know that English is a stress timed language, meaning that in a word or in a sentence. Some syllables are stretched longer and stronger than the rest. Take for example, photo, photography. Mary is taking a photo. You see what I mean? Now you see how the stress changes, shifting from place to place. As, as a foreign speaker, you might find this feature very challenging. But by reading poems, you you get really get a sense of how this works. How different words and word combinations make、uh, certain rhythms, unique rhythms. Da doom, da doom, da doom. To be or not to be—that is the question. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. Cannon to right of them, cannon to left of them, cannon behind them, volleyed and thundered. You see what I mean? Of course,、um, there are many other benefits of learning English via poetry. Increased vocabulary. Mm, cultural awareness, and you might just want to show off. So whatever tickles your fancy, I think you will find studying English poems a very, very enriching experience. Enough said. So、uh, I'm going to end today with one of my favorite poems, an extract from one of my favorite English poems, "The Road Not Taken" by Robert Frost. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverge in a wood, and I. I took the one least travelled by, and that has made all the difference. Thank you very much, and、uh, hope you、uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. And I look forward to seeing you again, Adam from Me to Talk English Cafe.